Hey folks, Matt from RightOfTheImage.com. Further on in a follow-up to what we were just talking about are the most popular rented pieces of photography gear. Uh, and in this case, it was from Lens Rentals, um, which is a large company that rents gear out. It's a great way to test gear or to get additional gear for jobs you need um, without having to buy it. But they do rent a lot of stuff. They have a lot of volume. So their numbers when they release them are interesting because it's indicative of you, know, you can draw. It's, it's raw data, basically, and you can draw you know, conclusions. What's more popular? What are people wanting? What's being used the most? Um, and we just talked about the most popular gear overall for 2017. But they also broke it down to the most popular new gear for 2017. And this was interesting. We've got the, uh, we've got the top 10 here. Um, and number one was the Panasonic GH5. And I found that interesting because the most popular new gear was the GH5. Uh, GH5 is definitely an amazing camera. And if you're into video, I could certainly see why it would be a heavily, heavily rented piece of gear. Because it's arguably one of the best pieces of gear you could use for shooting video. A lot of pros would want those as additional bodies if they're on jobs for clients. A lot of people might want that to test it out uh, if they are looking to upgrade People might want that for if a new venture and they don't want to, they, they can't afford or don't want to invest in a project yet, you can rent it from Lens Rentals and the GH5. I can see why that's up there. Interesting though, the interest, interestingly, <laughs> stuttering there, uh, is the Sony Alpha A6500. That's number two. I wouldn't have thought that would have been second to the GH5. I would have thought there would have been something a little newer with a little more pizzazz. But I found that very interesting because the A6500 is a very capable camera. It does very good 4K. Uh, it has uh, well, 6K down sampled to 4K. It's got some of the nicest 4K image quality coming out of that camera for a, for a video camera. It um, does very good focus. It has a very good focus system in it, including video focus. It's probably second only to Canon as far as something that's as good as dual pixel AF. So interesting. I can, I can see why, because for value and probably for the lower cost of rental, I can see how that's a very um, interesting rental. Uh, curious to know what you guys think of these top two, though. Uh, did it surprise you? Does it um, not surprise you? And if it doesn't, you know, or, or which way you're on. If, if you're surprised, why? What, what, what would you thought should have been there? If you're not surprised, let us know why. What, what, what reasons do you think these are, are number one and number two? There's some other interesting contenders here. Um, the number three is a Tamron 70-200 f2.8, so a lens. That's kind of interesting. It's the new Power OIS version 2 lens. Uh, remember, th th this list here is specifically new gear for 2017 and how popular it was for renting. Um, number four was the Sony Alpha A9, which is an interesting camera. Very big, very strong contender from Sony um, that is uh, you know, going up against pro top-of-the-line video cameras like the Canon 1DX Mark II, like the Nikon D5. You know, this is a camera that Sony's really come out the gate with a very impressive offering here. Uh, and, you know, I'm not really surprised to see that there too. I bet you there's a lot of pros using that in the Sony system and a lot of people also wanting to test it to see if it's a camera they want to buy. So that being number four doesn't surprise me. The Fuji X100F is number five. And that kind of surprises me a bit. Um, I guess I've never been a big fan of single focal length fixed lens cameras. Although I do know these are very popular among Fuji shooters. The X100 has been a, a very good selling, very popular camera for Fuji. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's probably my own personal, just th that camera has never really interested me that much. I, I would much rather have, um, between the two, an X-T20 with some lenses on it. Rather have an X-T20 with an 18 to 55, 28 to 4, as you know, my favorite kit lens ever. And with this 50... Uh, if I can, I'd throw in that 50 F2 right there. I'd much rather have that than that X100F. Uh, but just interesting. Interesting to see where it ranks. Sigma 24-70 F2.8, the new one. The Art Lens is number 6. A Sony FE 100-400 is number 7. Canon 6D Mark II is number 8. That's interesting. The 6D Mark II is a very interesting beast. Um, it's an interesting off offering for a full-frame camera. I really was disappointed Canon didn't put 4K in it. I might have bought one of them. Um... But um, Peter McKinnon has since come out and said he really likes that camera and maybe switching to it, I think, for videos. Um, and he, while doesn't have the 4K, quite likes it for everything else it does. He really likes it over his 1DX Mark II because it does have the flip-out screen, which is something I've been raving about for years. I think every camera should have a flip-out flip screen. And uh, so it's interesting that it's there too. It is a good offering. 
I just wish it had I had 4K. Number nine, Olympus OEM, uh, OMD EM1 Mark II. So the, the Mark II, the release of the EM1. Uh, that's interesting. It's been a big seller for Olympus. A lot of people like that little camera. I'm more a Panasonic guy than an Olympus guy. I much prefer the Panasonic menu systems. And I like them better for video. And I just, I, I'm just, I don't not like Olympus. I've just always liked Panasonic more. So I tend to, as you know, like I'm shooting the G85 right now to shoot this, um, tend to be in that system, in that universe. And uh, Olympus is, I have no, no problems with it. It's just kind of one of those things that I just didn't get into. Um, but it's obviously popular. It's number nine out of out of uh, one out of ten. And then uh, in tenth place, we have a Sony sixteen to thirty five f two eight GM, which isn't surprising because we've got some other Sony. You know, a lot of people might have won that with the A nine, which was number four. So sometimes you'll pair a lens and a camera. But I'm just curious, what do you guys think? What do you think of the top uh, renting? gear from 2017 this is gear that came out in 2017 and it's listed by popularity here on what was the most popular what do you guys think do you uh, did it surprise you did it not why let's discuss it curious do you own some of this stuff have you rented some of this stuff and then went out and bought it yourself let us know in the comments below always interested to hear your feedback thanks for tuning in stay tuned we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com